Hello and welcome to my channel Bit by Curiosity. In today's video, we will understand basic recruitment matrix and how to calculate them in a simple way in Excel. In case you want to create a dashboard like this, watch video 1 in this series. So let's begin. Let's start with average time to fill. Time to fill represents the calendar days a recruiter takes to fill an open position. Start point could be the date the position was vacant or assigned to the recruiter. End point would be candidate's joining date. So if position A was opened on 1st Jan 2021 and closed on 12th Jan 2021, then time to fill will be 11 days. To calculate average, if there are two roles, role A was closed in 20 days and role B was closed in 30 days, average time to fill will be sum of the number of days which is 20 plus 30 divided by total number of roles which is 2. For our data set, let's calculate this metric using pivot table. Let's create a pivot table, click on insert, pivot table, click on add data to data model. Remember, this is important to create our interactive dashboard. Let me select time to fill in values. Now remember, there are some blank values as well as we have some positions that are not yet filled. So it is better to exclude those positions from our calculations. So I will bring close date to filter. We can get open column as well. Now select all values except the blank ones. And notice how we've got count of time to fill. However, we want this to be average. So we will right click, summarize values by and select average. Here we go. We have our average time to fill. Let me copy this data in our dashboard. I'll do some formatting. Click on equal and here we have our average time to fill. Next, we will learn about sourcing mix. Sourcing mix shows what number or percentage of overall hires entered our pipeline from each recruiting channel or source. We will again use pivot table to calculate this. Let's create a pivot table. In filter, we will add joining status and select joined. And in rows, we will add source. In count, we will add candidate name. And we have our numbers. Let's create a chart. Select any cell in pivot table. Go to insert. Go to chart section. Select a donut chart. In this case, we can't see any number. So click on plus icon. Select data labels. But we need percentages. Go to arrow here. Click on more options. And now we can select percentage. Let me uncheck value. And add category name as well. Let's delete the legend and do some formatting like bold the values. Make sure all the values are visible. Add a border, rename the title and let's paste this on our dashboard. Now we will move on with our third metric which is cost per hire. Cost per hire measures the cost a company spends to hire new employees. 
formula to calculate the same is cost per hire is equals to total cost internal plus external divided by total number of new hires in a selected time period. To calculate, let's have a look at the cost sheet. Now, let's assume for a specified period, company has paid Nokri an amount of 38,000, LinkedIn an amount of 42,000. For agency, let's assume they charge 5% of candidate CTC. To calculate this, we will have to add CTCs which satisfy two conditions. One, candidate should have joined. Second, source should be agency. We will use sum ifs formula equals to sum ifs sum range. That means which is the column for which we need to calculate the sum. So for us, it's CTC column. Second parameter is criteria range 1. We need to check candidate status, which should be joined in our case. Similarly, criteria range 2. Source should be agency. Click on enter. Multiply it by 5%. And since our offered CTC is in lakhs, we will multiply this amount with 1 lakh. We've got the amount which is 5% of CTCs where candidate have joined through agencies. Now let's assume for employee referral company pays 7000 to the person who has referred the candidate who is joined. To calculate this we will use count ifs since we need to check two conditions one candidate must have joined second source should be employee referral so equal to count ifs it is asking for criteria range so select first one which is joining status then it requires with what criteria it should match so we want to count all columns where status is joined. Next parameter is criteria range 2, which is our source. Let's select that column and it should match with referral. Let's enter that. Click on enter. Let's change one source of joined candidate to referral and see if the number changes. Yes, it is working fine. Let me undo the changes. Now that we have got the count, we want this to be multiplied by 7000 to calculate the referral cost. Use simple sum formula to calculate total cost. Now here, I am not counting number of hours that recruiter has spent and cost associated with it. I am keeping the formula simple. Let's calculate cost per hire in our working sheet. Cost per hire is equals to total cost divided by number of hires which we can take from previous pivot table. And we can now put it on our dashboard. Last metric for this video is offer acceptance percentage. Offer acceptance percentage is the percentage of extended offers that are accepted. Obviously, the higher the percentage, the better it is. So, if 100 offers were sent out and 70 people accepted the offer, the offer acceptance percentage is 70%. Let's calculate the same in Excel. Let's go to candidate details sheet and create a pivot table. Add joining status to rows and add candidate name to count. 
Now let's calculate offer acceptance ratio. Offer acceptance ratio is equals to select count of joint from pivot table then divided by grand total which means total offers that were extended. So we have got 89% here. Let's put this metric to our dashboard. Stay tuned for the third video in this series. And that's it for this video. If you liked my video, do click on the like button and subscribe my channel. Do share your comments on which Excel formula or problem statements I should cover in my next video. Stay safe, keep learning and bye-bye for now.